Now, now, if you could go back and give young musicians, if you could give young musicians some advice as they journey on their their career, young composers, what what advice would you give them? Ah, this is a question that I often get. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, there was I just uh, had a lecture in university in Australia, and was one uh, person from Philippines who asked the same. Yeah. <laughs> um, in the sense that he comes from a different cultural background, he now mm -hmm. studies in totally different, you know, different uh, country, context from different what country. he was born and what. And uh, the question is, how does it go further? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think well, this, let me, is, this let is me let me let me is, reframe it. Then I want yes. to change the question, so it's a little different. <laughs> what advice would you give to yourself? younger version of yourself what advice would you give yourself if you could go back in time about your journey uh, i believe i had uh, i was lucky enough to make good choices <laughs> yes i understand it now i hope in 10 20 right. years i would say the same right so <laughs> what i really or what was very important to me is to have the best possible i could get I wanted the best like possible education in my understanding. Maybe what yeah, is yeah. best for me might be other best for you. <laughs> yeah. But uh, since um, we aim for something, we have our own understanding of uh, things and our own goals. And of course, our own capacities and how much we can and we want to offer from our lives. And of course, with which manners, because they all have consequences. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, and and uh, but I wanted to focus only on the let's say on the good sides, on the values that I said before, and at the same time aim to what was the best possible uh, for me to get. And this started, of course, from the education. So I yeah. wanted to have a very strong or as strong and versatile. Uh, education within an environment that is, for me, inspiring. And it pushes me always uh, to come every time one step further from what I believed uh, uh, I am or I was. So I think this is very important. And what I also realized during my studies in Austria, uh, in Germany, also studied in Switzerland, in Basel, uh, for one year composition. So uh, I wanted to get as many experiences with relevant subjects to music. So the, what I mean is, for example, um, let's say traditional composition is not the only uh, sort of composition. There is even electronic composition. There is yeah. composition with uh, non-traditional sounds. There is composition even on the conceptual uh, dimension. There is a composition that is more technical. So there is composition that is more technological. <laughs> there is composition with less engagement of humans, with more engagement of, uh, let's say, robots <laughs> or whatever yeah. uh, this can be. And at the same time, have also a more understanding of what is behind that. With this, I mean, for example, theory, uh, philosophy, uh, interpretation, and uh, even getting uh, information from non or outer musical uh, sciences. Uh, this is uh, it can be anthroposophy. It can be, it can be something with ethnology. Uh, so it's astronomy with space mm -hmm. discoveries. So what? It's for someone exciting. <laughs> yeah. And the that. more uh, I am really uh, uh, sure about this, that the moment you find what excites you, you always never stop uh, wanting yeah. to know more and going further and challenging more. So yes. I always I like to challenge the comfort zone, <laughs> meaning uh -huh. that uh, what I know is never enough. <laughs> uh, in this uh, sense, you know, even now I am on this uh, um, following what is, or trying to follow all what is possible to follow and what is happening. And uh, I think this is very uh, important for young musicians because 
uh, music creation, I think it might be similar to what it was before, but it's not the same, uh, I think. And there are even software that compose for you. So, <laughs> or there are many occasions from well-known composers who apparently they were not the uh, lonely composers of the work that they wrote their single name. So, uh, let's say the context of composition has is changing. Uh, yes. and the process and who is composing and who is the uh, let's say in the end the copyright owner of mm -hmm. the final product so this is um, interesting era that uh, yeah. we are focusing and I think just to uh, summarize again uh, try aim to go for the best uh, and try to be aware that I want to get there and even if I cannot get as fast as I thought at this point, never abandoned this target and always follow, let's say, even step by step until you get there. And then this, this brings to the next uh, end goal and always just try to expand on limits and never be satisfied of what we can do now and be aware and believe that in one year we can do more. <laughs> I love that. It's like a better every day. And that's, that's, that's what I try to tell, you know, myself is like, I, maybe I'm not at my, where I want to be yet, but if I can get one step better every day, then eventually I will get somewhere, you know? Yes. And, uh, it's what we say. It takes many years to have an overnight success. Exactly. <laughs> so true. Even in this <laughs> popular so music true. or popular culture, people yeah. think uh, that it's very easy, but maybe for some people it is easy. But there is, I mean, easy in the sense uh, compared to some others that who work hard for many years, even decades. But there is another uh, aspect that uh, it is very important, at least to me, and this is the sustainability and how yes. this will last in time and how valuable and worthy it is from its ingredients so that through the time it gets more and more value and it gets more and more, let's say, importance. Because um, this is something, at least for uh, a worthy um, musical piece or artwork or piece of music in popular music, it's not different or in popular culture we see. They are, that's why I call these all-time classics because yes. they have some certain values that last in time and never lose, lose their originality and uh, their value no matter how many years will pass. <laughs> so true. Well, brother, I want to say thank you so much for today. This has been absolutely amazing and I've learned so much. Now, I, I look forward to seeing more of your work and, and I, I would love for you to come back on sometime. For sure. Thank you for this very inspiring uh, and I'm happy to spread the word through in Vietnam as well. And I love it, man. I believe culture unites uh, people. We are living in an era yes. that is even a complicated uh, manner and uh, music has the power to unite uh, people and that we can focus on common goals that it's actually the values of the human existence. Uh -huh.